and my project work, which was to make the FEMA, which included four alternates in October 2010. We received a denial letter on this public uh, project worksheet in December 2010. The city immediately appealed this decision, first appeal, within 60 days prescribed of, of the prescribed guidelines required by FEMA's regulations. We did that in February 2011. The city did not receive a denial of that appeal until 240 days later, in November, in November 2011. Even though, for FEMA regulations, they were supposed to respond within 90 days. The city worked with the closely with our congressional de delegation throughout the process and secured a commitment from the state to kind of send an act in the amount of $9.4 million. The city staff worked directly with FEMA for internal and external experts to develop four alternatives. Three of these were rejected and they were not allowed by county code, were not feasible or cost effective. The only remaining option was to relocate the plant and it was determined to be feasible, cost effective, and intelligent. The city proceeded with the acquisition of 75 acres, 60 feet higher in elevation, uphill from the existing treatment plant to construct the new plant. The second appeal, and final appeal, as well, by FEMA was subsequent, subsequently submitted within 60 days to strip the timeline as mandated by FEMA in February 2012. The denial of the second appeal was not received by the city until August 1st, 2012. Now that we'll go a little bit of the corrective action that we've taken since 2009. During the FEMA project worksheet appeal process, the city was prohibited from completing leading any significant improvements to the plant due to the location of the facility and the flood plain. August 1, 2010, a direct consent order was forwarded to the city by EPD due to the ongoing spills occurring as a result of the damage to the transmission system in the plant. EPD agreed to withhold the official issuance of the consent order due to the ongoing approval process and the fact that any consent order would render the city ineligible to seek FEMA assistance on the relocation of the plant. Since the flood of the, the city had expended $17,800,000 uh, completing repairs in order to maintain compliance with the requirements of EPD permits. Of that, $4,859,968 have been expended on repairs to the Lithicucci plant and, and steps to relocate the facility. I want to give you a hand up, give you a list of those projects <coughs> since 2009. I want to note also that with this money, this does not include the 40 million we had already spent on the on the upgrade and exchange of the flight free facility. Specific plant system repairs since 2009. July 2009, we had to Computerized maintenance management system, software systems for all the utility departments. In two, April of 2010, we implemented a fast oil and grease prevention program. In September of 2010, we overall action taken by council. We completed final human repairs of both the live file solves to bear and multi filters. September 2010, author, you authorized a contract with 30% design on a new floor span two master pump stations, a headwards and equalization basin to replace the 54-inch gravity maintenance with the Gucci plant and the flood prone influent pump station. On October 2010, <clears throat> we did clean and CCTV evaluation of the mud creek and night creek main trunk lines and found lines and manholes in good shape. In October, again in October 2010, we did a complete clean of the with pollution Influence pump station wet well and install bypass pumping system to complete that work. In 2010, the city purchased a 75 acre track uh, for the relocation of the plant at a million dollars, million plus. In December 2010, we replaced four problematic lift stations on the Rosa Bay Country Club, Mack Rapid East Wind, and to begin the implementation of skater systems on all lift stations at supervisory control of the data acquisition. In 
March 2011, the placement of the following equipment of the wood at the Wood plant was authorized. Both slide pumps, rocking tower controllers, nitrification pumps, three intercooling pump station and pedals, six return activated sludge <coughs> pedals, and return activated sludge controllers. In April 2011, they implemented phase one of the multi year manhole replacement and rehabilitation program, completing 30 manholes based on the priority. July 2011, we designed and constructed a new tool oil station at Tuckle Road. In July 2011, you were awarded the Great Sufficiency Study Contract for the PR Energy Professional Resources Management Group. In October 2011, we made repairs to the fresh equipment of the Little Fusion Plant. In February 2012, phase two of the manhole replacement and rehabilitation implemented, was implemented. Addressing the additional 30 manholes. May 2012, the video was taken with all the and upgraded. In July 2012, we approved the rate study recommendations as no evidence to include rate increases for five years, base charge increases, and the elimination of winterizing average in order to support the department's capital improvement plan. On August, also in August of 2012, after the second and final. Was denied by FEMA. On the very next council meeting after that denial, the Mayor and Council approved us going to the 100% design for the new force train, the power station, and works and equalization data project. And also in August of 2012, the city, city initiated emergency repairs to work for the pool and power station, including the replacement of the broke road to 20 inch valve. Additional projects under the current of 2012 that are still underway. Of the upgrade and replacement of four additional lift stations and phase three of the manhole rehab program. Pro Star projects for the 2013 include pipe and blower replacement at the wood plant, and that will be brought to you in the next, next meeting. Upgrade and replacement of four more lift stations, phase four of the manhole rehab program, acquisition of easements for the force paint project, and the development and specifications of the force paint pump station. 